Today's episode is all about posting about you. Right. So let's be honest. There are two skills of thought on LinkedIn. There are those of us who feel like we just want to be ourselves. We just want to express ourselves and we're very comfortable with doing that. And there are another group of people who believe that LinkedIn is purely about business posts and you should only be posting if you're at a conference or if you're catching up with your old work colleagues or if you've got a work project ongoing that you want to use as a case study, right? Newsflash, neither of those are right. There is no right answer. What's important is how your ideal audience view you. To view you, they've got to understand who you are. They've got to get a flavor for your personality, your passions, your opinions, your beliefs, and your experience. And that's not just limited to the business world. It's okay to share things on a weekend, for example, of what you've done with your family and why that's relevant to who you are and what you believe. It's okay to share photos of your pets on occasions. I'm not saying that every post should be a photo of your cat, right? But at the same time, should we be worrying about posting those things on occasions? Absolutely not. Share who you are. Tell them stories about you, your life, and your experience, and help them to understand why they should align with you. People buy from people they know, like, and trust. They can't like and trust you if you're not open and honest in your LinkedIn approach. Share what other people dare not share. Be vulnerable. Be transparent. The same way you would lead a team in a physical work environment, you need to be doing the same sorts of things with LinkedIn. And in my head, I just picture one specific person that I'm talking to that I'm sharing my story with. I talk to that person. I hope that's useful for you in terms of how you're thinking about what your content should be on LinkedIn. And again, this is a, a kind of a mini course for people. I'm sharing everything for free. I'm not a LinkedIn trainer. I don't intend to be. If you like the content that we've shared so far, give me a follow, give me a subscribe, and I will see you again in a couple of days where we give out some more advice on how to turn your audience into paying clients here on LinkedIn.